It is done. Following a failed attempt at retaining veteran slot receiver Cole Beasley, the Dallas Cowboys successfully negotiated terms with a former enemy in Randall Cobb. The Green Bay Packers opted to not re-sign Cobb following his contract expiring, and that left him open for the wooing. He met with the Cowboys on Monday, March 18, and clearly both sides were pleased with how things went, because news broke only one day later than he'd melted cheese and done the star. What this means for the Cowboys is they've found a replacement for Beasley who is just as proven, but there's more to this as well. The ripple effects will flow down the depth chart and there are truly only two wideouts safe from any possible bubble created by Cobb jumping on board, not counting tight end Jason Witten, who decided to unretire and rejoin the team for 2019 on a one-year deal, that's the same term Cobb will be in tow, and it lends to the idea the Cowboys are going all-in for the coming season, when you also factor in changes made to the offensive coaching staff. That staff must now look at the depth chart and decide over the next few months who stays and who goes, and things could get very interesting this summer. It's Cooper's show in Dallas. That much cannot be disputed, especially after the team sent a 2019 first-round pick to the Oakland Raiders to land him in Week 8. Cooper went on a tear not long after, and finished the season with a third 1,000-yard campaign and a third Pro Bowl nod. He's the franchise receiver going forward, and will also see some duty in the slot, with Cooper being the definitive number one wide out, Gallup is the hands down no. To the talented receiver put on a show toward the end of his rookie season, showing off his athleticism and ability to reel in passes that come anywhere near him. Also one of the better route runners on the team, expect a big year from him in 2019. The deal on Cobb is salute-worthy for the Cowboys. They land a veteran slot receiver to replace Beasley, and one that's proven himself time and again at the NFL level. What's more is they understand he's simply a bridge, signing him to a one-year deal for $5 million. The move fills an immediate need and for pennies on the dollar, all things considering. The jury is out on how the signing of Cobb impacts Austin. The latter blows the doors off of the former in a speed contest, and that's where Austin's value could save him when it comes time for roster cutdowns. Unless the Cowboys draft a return threat, Austin is safe in that regard, but any presumption he'd be the heir to Beasley has met a bloody end. Hearns might be the odd man out in this scenario, with Cobb bringing an instant slot ability and Hearns recovering from a broken leg suffered in January. He's making great strides but, until further notice, remains a top pup physically unable to perform, list candidate for 2019. If he can somehow follow through on his promise to be ready by September kickoff, the Cowboys will be hard-pressed to find a role for him, especially considering he's also not a returner, nor was he impressive with running routes in 2018. This is one the Cowboys are hoping will finally pay off. Brown has battled injury in his time with the team, but is very athletic and has a catch radius coaches love. He didn't have the best 2018 season though, and part of it was due to scheme issues while yet another part was simply lack of execution on his part, on both the receiving and blocking fronts. This summer will be key in determining his future with the Cowboys. There's a ton of potential in Wilson, if he can stay healthy. The former Boise State star receiver has both the ability to challenge for the slot role and to be a deep threat outside the hashes, making him dangerous at the NFL level. He redshirted his rookie season with a shoulder injury suffered before the year got kicked off but, now healthy, he could be one to watch when it comes to challenging Cobb. Davis hasn't done much in the NFL, yet. He's still waiting to find a long-term home after his solid years at the University of Georgia, but nothing seems to stick. His selling point is his blazing straight-line speed, and that would serve the Cowboys well in spot duty offensively and most certainly in the return game. He must survive the bubble first though, and for him, it's rather tenuous. Smith is mostly in the same boat as Davis, but his talent is equally as impressive.
Another speedy wideout picked up by the Cowboys this winter, Davis delivered impressive film in his time with Ohio State, but has since battled a myriad of injuries that have derailed his professional career thus far. It was a flyer signing for Dallas though, with low risk carrying the possibility of high reward. Like Davis, Smith will have his work cut out for him in a big way. Even before the Cubs signing, Williams' days were done, the club opted to not pick up his 2019 season contractually, having stuck with him during the most controversial and career-worst production campaign since joining the team. He delivered just 18 receiving yards last season and wound up on injured reserve after suffering a setback on his broken foot, and barely showed up to the facility as the year went on. It was a no-brainer to let him walk, especially considering the cap savings.